Hey guys, so today we'll be comparing Shea Nilotica versus Shea Western. Even though both are Shea butter, there are some notable differences between them. To be able to explain the differences, I coined the term Shea Western to refer to the Shea butter that comes from the west side of the African continent, which includes but not limited to Ghana, Togo, Benin, Mali, and Burkina Faso. As the name suggests, Nilotica means from the river Nile. The blue and white Nile meet in Sudan to form the river Nile. In conclusion, Shea Nilotica is mostly found in Sudan and northern Uganda. So Shea Western comes from the western side of the African continent and Shea Nilotica comes from the river Nile or from the Nile side of the continent. Shea Nilotica a recent discovery is from the subspecies of the Kerai tree referred to as Vitalaria nilotica. Shea western comes from the Kerai or the Shea tree, scientifically referred to as Vitalaria paradoxa. It's this difference in the tree species that separates the characteristics of these two kinds of Shea butter. Depending on a few factors, including the method of extraction, the time of harvest, and the climatic conditions of the country where the shea tree grows, shea western has a medium to heavy nutty aroma. This scent can be overpowering. Shea nilotica, on the other hand, has a very mild aroma that's slightly sweet. As mentioned before, different climatic conditions, the time of harvest, and methods of extraction will impact the overall color of the shea butter. Shea Western tends to have anywhere from a deep yellow to a light off-white with a greenish tint. Shea Nilotica has different variations as well, ranging from a light yellow to a reflective golden tone that's almost metallic. Shea Western is smooth and firm in texture. While it's not hard, it does take a little bit of effort to spread it across the skin. Shea Nilotica is creamy and silky. It becomes even softer at room temperature and has amazing spreadability. Keeping in mind that this is the raw form of both kinds of shea butter, you can see it's slightly difficult to dig into the shea western, but as heat is transferred from my finger into the butter, its texture softens and I'm able to pick it up. Shea nilotica, on the other hand, is almost like butter. Time to compare melting points. I took a teaspoon of Shea Western and a teaspoon of Shea Nilotica in identical glass jars. Heating indirectly, that is placing the jars in a larger container with hot water, I timed how long it took for the butter to completely melt. Given its buttery texture, it makes sense that Shea Nilotica has a much lower melting point compared to Shea Western. The ratio from my experiment is 3 to 1, meaning it took 1 minute for a teaspoon of Shea Nilotica to completely melt versus 3 minutes for a teaspoon of Shea Western. And as you can see, on the right, Shea Nilotica is fully melted, while Shea Western still has about 60% or so to go. The resulting oils are also very different. Shea Nilotica has a light oil, almost the consistency of like jojoba, or Shea Western is very thick and opaque. My final experiment was to compare the pH of Shea Western versus that of Shea Nilotica. Keep in mind that different elements, as mentioned before, will affect the pH of your butter. As it turns out, both Shea Western and Shea Nilotica, in my case, measure to pH 5 on my scale which means they are both acidic and at that sweet spot for hair and skin. Different batches could measure a different pH. So simply because yours measures slightly more or less doesn't mean that it's bad. Although tests are still being done, evidence suggests that there isn't much difference between Shea Nilotica and Shea Western chemically. Shea Nilotica, however, has a much higher content of volein a glycerid of oleic acid which gives it that creamy buttery consistency and excellent spreadability. 
It's this element that gives Shea Nilotica the edge as a better moisturizer for the skin and hair. I hope this video helped you to understand Shea Western and Shea Nilotica a little bit better. And just to recap, Shea Western is from the west part of Africa and Shea Nilotica is from the east part. Whichever butter you choose, make sure you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!